What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to part two of our ultimate dream team wish list for legends. So if you missed part one, check it out, but let's get straight into it. All right, so first up, we have got midfield maestro, dominator, destroyer, whatever you want to call him, Yaya Torre, right? So absolute beast of a player, obviously played his best years at City and then Barcelona, but a tank of a player, right? Um, really, really solid. And I think it would kind of break up that meta of having, you know, Makalele Davids with a really tall, dominant Patrick Vieira alternative if you didn't get Vieira. So I think it'd be a really good choice. Next up, we also have Philip Lamb. One of the best full backs and then transitioned into midfield and then back to right back and just played an assortment of uh, places for Bayern in his career and for Germany. One of the best, I'd say, right backs ever, uh, full backs ever, I should say. And was just unbelievable on the ball. Really, really strong in the tackle and a really good engine as well. We also have one of my favorite players ever. It is Henrik Larsson. So obviously from his Celtic days with the big long hair, the dreads, to then moving and finishing his career with Manchester United and Barcelona. What a servant, won so much, was a brilliant goal scorer. It was an even better player. I mean, he was really good goal scorer, but he was just so good. He was kind of like a throwback center forward at times, but then he was also a deep line. I think he definitely would be a deep line playmaker like Burkamp in the game. So he probably wouldn't be meta, but he'd be really exciting to play with. We also have a mention, look, you have to respect the older generation as well, lads, right? So we are getting Bobby Moore in here as well. A really good player. I'm just going to move this, sorry. A really good player back in his day. Obviously, I didn't grow up watching him. He would have been before my time. But from talking to the owl lad, he said that he was a fantastic player. And from reading up about him, a phenomenal player, phenomenal talent and could do it all. And again, you know, just adding something a little bit different for players of all ages, right? But back to it then, we have Pele. Pele needs no introduction. Obviously, I didn't grow up watching Pele either, but keep him with that. We have Maradona in eFootball. We have Cruyff in eFootball. We have Messi. We have Ronaldo. We have whoever you think is the GOAT, right? We're obviously missing a few. We'll get to. But the big, big omission at the moment is uh, Pele. Now, it could be a difficult one. That's why it is my wish list. Will this possibly happen? Probably not this season, I would say, or this year with eFootball 24. But a man can dream. It would be epic to have him in. Also, Rui Costa. So this is a more attainable one, I would say. Um, Rui Costa is a very, very good player. Obviously, back in the day, I loved watching him. There was a lot of players like that that really excel in the Pez games as well that you could put in as that AMF. I think him, would he be a whole player? Would he be a creative? Let me know in the comments below. I think he would be a brilliant attacking midfielder or option to have just to have something different and to get more legends in. Sticking with legends, we have Shevchenko, who was definitely one of my, I would say, my top five Pez players of all time. I remember having him and Henri up front in one of the Pez games. I, I'm not even too sure which one it was. I'd have to go back and check, but they were phenomenal. One of my best, one of the best players to use in the game, and Konami seemed to really love him. I'm surprised he's not in it, seeing as they had the, the AC Milan license. I'm surprised he's not in as a legend. Also, George Best. So again, going back to my Manchester United, um, you know, supporting love. First and foremost, Bestie. Never watched him growing up. Obviously, would have been before my time as well. But this is kind of a different with part two, a different kind of look at legends that I would like to see. I definitely think he could probably be the best winger in the game if they made him right. And he could just be so silky, prolific winger, or else you could have him as a Roman flank, depending on the play style excellent he would be amazing to see speaking of excellent players that would be amazing to see you can't leave out roberto baggio uh what a player i mean an iconic player as well was previously in pez so that could be something that he does return right if it would be really really nice for eFootball 2024 if they actually brought back a couple of those guys that were out already you saw in part one that i had thierry Henry, who was previously in the game this guy would be excellent as well we also want rooney lads we want rooney i would love to see Genuinely, I would love to have Ronaldo, Rooney, and Tevez all in the prime, Parchi, Sung, Scholes, and Beckham, and Roy Keane, all of those boys to be able to create the perfect blend of past and present Manchester United. I don't know what present United players would get onto my dream team, but Rooney would be, I mean, I would try and get Rooney. They have got the license with Manchester United. They are global partners with him. I, I definitely want to see that happen, hopefully. Then we also have our bonus one, which is a debut Messi, right? So this Messi was actually an iconic moment version in PES 2021 when it first released. Not the season update, but the PES 2021 original, okay? Well, it's the same thing, but sorry, I'm confusing you. Anyway, 
in the actual Dream Team original mode, you could get these iconic moments, and Messi was there as a card. Now, who's on your wish list, right? We did part one. This is part two complete. Part three will be next. We've got a couple of good players that we've left out for part three. Let me know if you're enjoying these. Let me know if you want to see more. We do have loads of legends that we would want to see, but I probably have about maybe 20 more, so probably two more videos. And then I'm going to do, year guys, if I've missed anybody, I'm going to do a best of subscriber wish list. And I'm going to put up, you know, who gave me the suggestion and put up a video like this. So let me know if you want to get involved. Get in touch in the comments below and I'll talk to you then. Don't forget to subscribe.